Good morning, everyone. It is 9.57. We're at the trash dump. We're gonna drop off our trash. Oh, gotta unlock the doors. You got the sunlight on. They see me running. They be liking and subscribing. Shh. I don't know what you're singing. I don't know what you're singing either. Um, but I have to go and find the tool. I didn't even look to see if tool was on sale at Hobby Lobby. Is tool on sale at Hobby Lobby? <laughs> but I need to go and get the tool so I can make the rainbow and hopefully I can do a little tutorial on how I do it. And I have to go to Joanne's. Gotta get some more stitch cover. Say hello. No. Show Willow's new outfit. Willow got a new outfit. Yeah, it says stay fancy. And her other eye fell off. I, I wish. If it was her other eye, that would be creepy. She laughed at me. They look the weird. Do I look weird? No, your sunglasses do. You know, I, I really only see you wear sunglasses on vacation. Okay. And since you never go on vacation, <laughs> I rarely see you in sunglasses. <laughs> only time my, I see you in sunglasses is in Florida. My whole life is a vacation. Tell it me. <laughs> Well, you asked. Yeah. You said, you know what you don't see on the side of the road anymore as far as trash. And I said, what's that? And I said, cassette tapes. Cassette tapes with the tape all strolled out right. all over the place. Do you guys remember seeing that? Have you ever saw that? Like somebody would throw out a mixtape that didn't work. Or you broke up with your, with your, with your boyfriend or, or girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> and he's like, Forget this love tape of sad songs. It means nothing. Yeah. Or, or, you, uh, or your appetite for destruction cassette turned into appetite for road construction cassette. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hadn't seen those in a while. We should just randomly get some tapes from the Goodwill and just do that. <laughs> and just throw them <laughs> away. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we can find a couple of. And cuts. then people will be like, "Look at that!" No, you, you don't even see cassette tapes at Goodwill anymore. I have to go to flea market. Yeah, to to flea market. I saw that. But I, whenever we had the in the other van, we had a cassette player. Yeah. And it was awesome. We could throw out some Ronnie Millsap and some. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Ricky Skaggs. I always see him at the flea market. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll keep the Alabama though. Yeah. We'll rock up to some Alabama. Yeah. And then when we're done listening to it, that's when we'll do it. We'll listen to the entire, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a random tape that we never heard of and we're gonna listen to it both sides. Uh -huh. And then when we're done, we're gonna rip it all up and throw it out the window. What if we like it? Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> we like it then we'll go find it on CD. <laughs> we'll download it onto an mp3. That's what it's all become, mp3s. I got fitted to you, Alfredo. 
Whoever wants this right now, bite your whoever wants this right now, bite your phone, tablet, or computer. <laughs> We're home. I'm just gonna show you really quick what I picked up at Hobby Lobby this week. Ribbon is half off. And I always look at this glitter ribbon and I always want it. But I was like, well, I'll just get all the colors of the rainbow yes, and fun. maybe make a ribbon trim later on when I get my tool because I'm going to order, make sure I order all these colors. And I found this at Joann's. As you know, I wanted some kind of rainbow. I don't know how this look though. It's got the black lines in it, but just so I have it, I'm going to get that. And I needed some Tender Touch, and this is the stitch cover. And I've had probably two, three different people ask me what I use this for. And this is to put on the back of the embroidery design. So it's not um, rough on the little one's skin. Because she says, what does it do to you? It's itchy. And it rubs your skin. Boobies. <laughs> Boob. <laughs> but it rubs her whenever she has um, embroidered. But when she wears this, she says it's good. It's just like a little cover. And you just iron it on over where this the embroidery is. And it stays on pretty good. Um, yeah. Maybe after several washing, it might become like peeling away. And you can always just put more on it. And these are good too if you have, if you buy um, things that have this on there, like Jimboree will put a lot on theirs, and sometimes theirs comes off as well, and you can just add some more to it, and bada boom, bada bing. Look, I made watermelon food. Oh, we picked that up. Yeah. I bought more pink polka dot. I wasn't sure if I needed any, but that's one color that I have to get from um, Hobby Lobby since I was there, and it was on sale for $4.19. It was 30% off or something like that. And then my tool was not on sale, so I had to pay $1.93 for each color. And I got orange. I went with this color purple because the darker purple would not, it was just too, I don't know what color it was. What color was it, Sterling? It looked weird. It said purple on it, but it looked really really dark yeah. and then this turquoise I think is really dark but it's the only one I had and then this lime which is really lime and I went I bought their yellow I have yellow but their yellow is more of a yellow yellow and my yellow is like a maze hey guys so I totally 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 forgot that I wanted to um film this I'm going to be making a rainbow ribbon trim tutu. Now, what I've done is because I did not have all of the colors that I needed, I had to go to Hobby Lobby today to pick them up. And what I did is I just had them cut um, a yard and a half. That's what I'm going to go with, yard and a half. Hopefully it's not going to be too long. So it would be about nine it'll average out to be about nine yards total because I've got six colors and it's a yard and a half so <clears throat> so let's see here I'm trying to get them all unfolded so I have i am got pink hot pink orange yellow lime green turquoise and purple those are the colors I'm going to do and what I've done is I just went ahead and I laid all of my tool pieces out flat because I usually do it on my bed because I feel like it's, you know, I make the bed and I do it on top of the comforter and I feel like it's cleaner than doing it on the floor. Um, so what I did is I just laid them all on top of each other and then I rolled them up and then I cut the width that I needed, which is 12 inches. Because I want my tutu to be about 6 inches long because it's for a 12 month old. 
So, and I am going to keep my layers of tulle because there'll be two pieces of tulle when you do it like this. There'll be two pieces of tulle that will be um, the one and a half yard by 12. So here I'm going to start with my pink color. I'm sorry I didn't film this when I was cutting it. I didn't even like think about it. But it's the normal way that you would cut your tool when you're making a ribbon trim. Um, and you have to use the tool on the bolt. So this piece right here is a yard and a half long. And I am there's two pieces here and I'm going to keep them together just like I normally would on a ribbon trim because I want the thickness of the two pieces but I'm going to go ahead and sew my ribbon and on this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to do pink on one side the top layer and then I'm going to do purple I'm going to reverse the rainbow on the bottom layer I don't know how it's actually going to turn out hopefully it'll turn out looking alright um, but I figured that might be kind of cool so the top ri ri ribbon will be the same color as my tool, and the bottom layer on this pink one will be the reverse color. So I'll use this as an example. So I'm going to be used doing hot pink, but because that will start my rainbow, and I'm not using red, I'm using hot pink in place of red. So the bottom is going to have purple on it. And then for my next one, I'm going to do orange, and the bottom layer is going to have blue on it. And then the next color is going to be yellow, and the bottom layer is going to have green on it. And so I'm just going to do that. It's just going to be the reverse rainbow on the bottom layer. That way it adds more color, and hopefully it won't look terrible. But we will see. So I already have, and I'm changing out my thread colors as well. I don't know if you can see. So I got hot pink. Hot pink is going to be on my hot pink. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and sew my hot pink ribbon. I'm using my one and a half inch. And I got a heat seal. I gotta find my lighter. I cannot keep a lighter, guys. I mean, really. There it is. So I just hot, hot, hot seal. <laughs> Heat seal my ribbon. And now I'm going to sew my ribbon onto my one and a half yards of tulle. of my pink ribbon sewn on I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna sew my channel since I already have the hot pink ribbon in there I mean the hot pink thread in there that way um, it won't be seen or it will blend well I should put it that way with the tool color so I'm gonna go ahead and sew it okay so now I sew my channel now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my color my thread color and I'm going to do put purple on the bottom purple ribbon on the bottom and then when I'm done with um, putting that purple ribbon on I'm going to move on to my purple piece of tool and so my purple ribbon on that one and the channel for that that way I don't have to keep switching my colors over and over again so I'm gonna go ahead and thread my machine with my purple Now 
I gotta make sure you put your ribbon on right. Um, this channel is going to be facing up. So it'll be up, not under, but on top. It feels weird working with a shorter piece of tool because I'm used to it flopping all over the place. I'll go ahead and line up my ends the best I can. And put it on there. Okay. Go ahead and cut my thread and my ribbon. Now this piece is done. So that way when I put it on, it'll look something like that. So well, this piece is done. I'm just going to set it to the side. Now I'm going to do my purple piece because I already have purple in here. Okay, so I just went ahead and I sewn the channel using the purple thread. That way it would match. So now on the bottom of the purple, I am supposed to put what color? I don't remember. So the purple is going to have hot pink and the hot pink is going to have purple. Yes. So now I gotta switch back to Hot pink. Okay, so I just went ahead and I put my orange ribbon onto my orange tool and I sewed my channel. But now, since I have orange in my sewing machine, I'm going to put the orange ribbon on the next piece of tool. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I finished up sewing all my colors on my colors. So. Hopefully, let's see. I'm gonna go with, let's see, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue. Okay. Now, I'm going to get my elastic, which is over here. And since this is for, I gotta make sure I cut all my threads off too. This is for a 12 month old. And, Now what I normally do is I have these big giant safety pins and I usually put one on one end and that just keeps, it's like a stopper, it keeps the tool from going off the end if I was to push it too hard and the other one. So the first color I'm going to go with is my pink. Got all of my colors strung on here as you can see and now I'm going to go ahead and sew my elastic first I want to make sure my elastic is straight I see it's turned right here okay everything is straight I'm gonna go ahead and sew my ends and I'm gonna cut this right here Whenever I find my scissors. OK, 
Okay guys, so this is what it turned out. I'm going to um, glue the little ends together, these, wherever they are. But yeah, I'm going to glue the ends together so that way he won't be seen and then I can kind of even it out a little more. I think if I would have went with any more tool, now this is nine yards, but I think if I would have went with any more tool it probably would have been too much, but I think it's so cute. I love the way it turned out little rainbow and it'll look so cute with the top because it's a minion with rainbow but I'm gonna go ahead and fix this up this thing took me about two hours to complete um, normally when I do a straight through tutu it takes me about 40 minutes but this took two hours so just because you have to change out your colors and just do little one strip at a time so yeah it does take a little bit longer, so I probably will charge a little bit more for those. Sterling. What? Where are we? Um, I don't yeah. know. We're eating at Bubba's barbecue or bash. It says it over there on the wall. Hey guys, it is 10.22 and we're going to head, bed, head to bed. We are going to probably go to North Carolina tomorrow. I know Sterl wants to hit some Goodwills because she likes to rescue baby alive from the Goodwill. But I just want to show you what I made tonight. I made this headband. And I did it, um, I probably told you a few days ago about the tutorial on my friend Margaret's channel. Where she shows how to do the braided headband like this. Let's see if we okay, so this is like the um, braided headband, but what I did was I, um, when I got so far, I think I counted eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, when I got to eight, I switched my yellow out with pink and I just hot glued it to. So you can see it right there. I just hot glued my yellow to my pink and then cut my pink off and then or hot glued my yellow to my pink and then did the pink for eight and then stopped and then did yellow. So I thought that was kind of cool. It was a way to get extra colors in there because I what I wanted was for it to be pink, yellow, and blue to kind of match that. So this way it's super cute. And these are the headbands that come in the mail today. I got them from Haribo Center. So I bought six of the half inch and six of the one inch. And this is the one that I, I got from. Oh, uh, what's that place? What's that place? Dollar General. <laughs> so that's the at. I've got a mess over here. I was still, I was working on some Thanks bows. Thanks so for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We do daily vlogs every day where we show our crazy life. Bye, guys. <laughs>